Welcome back to another Project Progress video update. It is Friday morning, October 18th, and as you can see behind me, the roof sheathing is going in over the grill room. Over the past two and a half weeks, a lot of the work that's taken place is putting the trusses up on the south side of the building. And I have some video that will paste in at the end of this video to show you that work as it took place over the last two weeks. It's a, it's a really interesting process. Uh, likewise, there's a lot of work going on inside the building. The electrical, plumbing, HVAC, all that work continues to take place. Uh, framing inside is well on its way. All of the rough-ins for the electrical work and the, uh, the low voltage is all going into place. The walls have gone into place over the administration office. So we're going to take a look at, at that inside the club here in just a minute and uh, show you what's going on there. Uh, also, too, yesterday at the board meeting, Carol O'Flaherty, the president of the association, she announced the open date range of the clubhouse, which everyone has been uh, waiting for. So the, uh, the opening date range is going to be mid to late March. Um, that'll be announced also through The Voice. You've probably already heard that by the time you see this video. Uh, and then likewise for the uh, Tennis and Fitness Center, the opening is going to be probably about mid-January, or early to mid-January, somewhere in that range. So uh, there's a lot to be uh, look, look forward to. It's only a few months away, so uh, there's a lot of work to be done between now and that time. And I know that the membership is real anxious to kind of take a, a, a peek at what's going on. And all those, although these videos help to get a feeling of what's going on, um, there's nothing like actually walking through it yourself. So to that end, the board has, uh, the project management committee has set up tours, member tours of the facility. Uh, this is going to take place in uh, the last Sunday of October, which is the 27th. And we're going to run tours from 11.30 to 4.30 every half hour. We're going to limit it to eight people because it is a construction site and there's some safety concerns there. So it'll be limited to eight people. Um, it'll be escorted by members of the project management committee. And we'll take you through not only the tennis and fitness center, but the entire clubhouse. So you can really get a feeling of what's going on in the inside and get a true appreciation of it. Uh, the, of course, uh, one Sunday isn't going to be enough to accommodate all the members, so that'll continue into November, November 3rd and November 10th. And uh, if we still have members that are looking to, uh, that, that were not accommodated within those first three tours, we'll certainly extend that and, and do additional work. If you'd like to sign up for one of the tours, just contact Erica in the administration office, and uh, she can be reached at the main club number, 239-594-5200. And um, we'll be right back, and I'll show you some of the work that's going on inside the club. Right now, we're standing in the expanded kitchen area. You can actually see behind me uh, where the wall was before, and the expansion behind, so you can get a feeling of how big the kitchen is going to be. Uh, two weeks ago, when we shot the video, we only had the uh, bar joists over the floor here. So this whole floor has been poured. All of these walls have been put up and uh, getting ready for the tie beam. So you can tell there's been a lot of work done in the past two weeks just on the kitchen portion alone. Standing right now in the hallway leading to the three new administration offices over the golf shop. Uh, this area right here was previously the hallway that led to what at one point was an overlook into the golf shop and then a few years ago became additional food and beverage stores. So now we're standing in the area that leads back to the three offices. By having the offices here in the administration building, that would free up a lot of space over in the tennis and fitness center. Um, the expansion actually of the recreation, the, the tennis and fitness building, is about 20%. But by moving the offices over here and only keeping Kevin and his uh, his tennis office and tennis and fitness office over in the uh, tennis and fitness center, that freed up a lot of space. So the building's about 20% larger, but the actual fitness room, as well as the aerobic room, are about 40% larger. So it's a significant increase over in the in that building as well. I'll be right back to show you some of the views from the dining room. Okay, we're going to close out this week's video by showing you some of the magnificent views from the west end of the dining room. This portion of the dining room where I'm standing now uh, used to be the location where nobody wanted to sit because it was all the way in the back, it, was, it tended to be a little bit darker, uh, the views were not what they, what they are now. And you can see, and we're going to zoom in on some of these views, it's absolutely magnificent now. I mean, the, the views from this side of the dining room, this is going to be the prime seating in the dining room. Um, again, as we close out the video, we're going to show you uh, the trusses going up on the back of the club. Those videos were taken over the past few weeks. 
as you can see above me in this room, all the trusses are up, the roof sheathing is all up. Uh, so the video that you're going to see right after this is essentially taken over the past two weeks. Also, again, as a reminder, the, uh, there's going to be tours of the clubhouse and the tennis and fitness center. That's going to occur over uh, a few Sundays, starting on October 27th, Sunday, November 3rd, and Sunday, November 10th. And those will be from 11.30 to 3.30. Call Erica for reservations. Again, the, the clubhouse is forecast to be open mid to late March. The tennis and fitness center, we're looking at uh, right about mid January. And the pool behind the tennis and fitness center, because that's actually the equipment is fed off of the clubhouse, that won't be open until the clubhouse gets open. But the goal is to have the tennis and fitness center open first. Uh, that's contingent on FPNL and some transformer challenges, but that's what we're looking at right now. We look forward to getting into that facility. So let's wrap up this week's video and take a look at the views.